One of my favorite parts of the Santa Claus is when Laura and Neil are talking about the moment in which they stopped believing in Santa Claus. And they're talking about the gifts that they didn't receive from Santa. And then at the end of the movie, uh, Santa Claus, Scott Calvin, brings them their gifts. Um, and they believe. So Laura's was the mystery date board game. And this was iconic in the 1950s and 60s. So I found on Etsy, and it's linked down below, a printable PDF version of Mystery Date Board Game, but it's a mini version. So this thing is so, so cute. I'm creating the box for the tiered tray. There were little pieces and the game board. I didn't put those together for this project, um, but you definitely could. It's so darling. I just love it. So keeping up with that same section of the movie where Laura and Neil are talking about their gifts, Neil's gift that made him not believe in Santa was the Oscar Mayer weenie whistle. So I had to make a sign that went along with that. So I just got this little tiny sign from Dollar General and I took it apart and I painted it red. I created in Canva, of course it's a free download for you, linked down below, a little saying to go behind the sign this sign that says Christmas came no weenie whistle and then I printed out a weenie whistle and cut it out in the circle shape so I'm just going to with a glue stick glue that backing back onto the sign and then hot glue the sign back together then I'm taking one of these little wooden blocks from the Dollar Tree to make our weenie whistle kind of look 3d so I just hot glued that onto my sign and then with some glue stick glued the weenie whistle on. So I grabbed this mini canvas and easel from Dollar General for a dollar and I thought it would make a cute sign. So what I decided to do is that line, that iconic Santa Claus line that Judy the Elf says, seeing isn't believing, believing is seeing. So I printed out on the Cricut, on um, a Christmas tree shape for the sign. Seeing isn't believing, believing is seeing. It did take a while to get this weeded out in this font. I am not going to share, I know, shocker, I'm not going to share this download for Cricut. I am not actually crazy about this project. I wanted to show it to you anyway because that's crafting. Crafters make projects that they are not that thrilled with when they finish. It seemed like a good idea. Maybe you can come up with a better way to do all of this. Um, but I, this is real life. This is how we live. So I wanted to make sure I showed it to you anyway. Once I finally got it all weeded out, I transferred it to some transfer tape and then I was ready to transfer it to my canvas. And the problems did not stop with the weeding. I had so much trouble transferring this permanent Expressions vinyl over to the canvas. The canvas did not want to take the vinyl at all. It was a nightmare. I just, I, I'm sharing this faux pas to you so that you can laugh and know that obviously all of my projects do not work out perfectly. Oh my gosh, I cannot get this off of here at all. What? A nightmare. So this trying to get it onto the canvas went on and on for about 25 minutes. Don't worry, I definitely edited that out for you, um, but you can see what a mess I had. And then finally, 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 it was done. You couldn't have the Santa Claus without having the Rose Such a Ladder. So I picked up this little plastic ladder from the fairy garden section of Hobby Lobby, and I didn't like how fake it looked. So I decided to add a little bit of gold and a little bit of antique wax by Waverly to dress up the ladder with just one of these natural sponges. I love these sponges. They just go on really easily. Um, they also wash out really easily. So for the rose, such a ladder co um, label for the ladder, I didn't have any gold paper and I am a big fan of using what you have and not going out and spending money if you don't have to so I took some gold paint 
and I just painted a piece of gray cardstock right in the center that I already had on hand. And once that was dry, I printed my little rose such a ladder sign that I created in Canva and is available for you in the description right onto the gold painted paper and super glued it to the ladder. It's as easy as that and I didn't have to buy a bunch of extra materials. Fast.